that night are big and bright. Very good. All right, take a look at this site that greeted sky watchers in Lubbock. You can see Jupiter and Venus shining. Now that song will be stuck in my head all day, but listen, those planets, they're going to be passing each other in what's known as a conjunction in the western sky. NASA says last night was the best viewing time, but they'll still appear close together tonight. All right, we're talking Texas Independence Day, and what better way to mark the day than to test our Texas trivia knowledge. That's right, let's start with an easy one. What is the Texas state bird? Ooh. Option there are? Uh, Northern Mockingbird, Common Starling, Southern Cardinal, or House Sparrow. Justin. A. Northern Mockingbird. All right. You're, you're, you're a Midland guy. <laughs> All right. Texas has about 12 million of these, more than any other state. What is it? Blue bonnets, horses, cattle, or people? Hmm. Trick Jonathan. Trick. I'm going to go with cattle. That'd be my guess, too. Yeah? <laughs> Let's see if I got it right. All right. Yeah. All right. I know I, and, and guys, we, we didn't see these in advance. Okay. <laughs> Texas holds several world records. Which of these is not a record held in Texas? World's largest convenience store, world's largest cowboy boot structure, world's largest taco, or world's largest belt buckle? And I'm going to say it's the boots. Oh, that's a good answer, but let's see. I'm going to say taco. Yes. Oh, I Are thought North Star three, Mall three, held, a, held a record. <laughs> All right, now, Jonathan. Which of these was not invented in Texas? Dr. Pepper, cowboy boots, ruby red grapefruits, or liquid paper? This is a hard one. I actually should know this. I think I want to say it's ruby red grapefruits. Let's see. Yeah. All right, I got Good one answer. right. I actually yeah. have no idea on this one. <laughs> well, and I think liquid paper was actually someone in San Antonio came oh, up wow. with that. Yeah. Super cool. Okay, the first official rodeo was held in Texas in 1883. And what city did that happen? Houston, Pecos, Fort Worth, or Mesquite? I used to live there, so I have to bow out. I know the answer to this one. Well, okay, so it's got to be in West Texas. It is. Oh, <laughs> West okay. Texas, man. Great spot. Nice. All right. Well, they'll, they'll be celebrating Texas Independence Day as well at SA Live. Hi, guys. Hi, how are you? And I'll tell you one thing. We have lots of food on the show, which is normal, but I've got food to my left, food to my right. And to my left right now is Ken Oliver of Dakota Eastside Ice House. By the way, he got all the trivia questions correct. So, <laughs> Ice House week. Somebody that's never, not from Texas, what's an ice house? So an ice house traditionally in Texas was where you went to go get your ice, your big blocks of ice that you slid, that slid into your uh, ice box. They and, called it the ice box back then. And some of your groceries, and then grocery stores exactly, took over, refrigeration, exactly. what was left over? Beer. Beer, and so that's what happened there in the neighborhoods. And mm -hmm. some great food we're gonna be tasting at. Speaking of great food, how about some home cooked meals, but you don't wanna cook? This lady can help you out, Mo Chandler from Mo's Kitchen. So. Anything you want, and I want, you can yes, cook, right? Absolutely. Even for your husband? Even for my husband, even lobster. Even lobster, and yes. you don't like that. So yeah, yes. great meals that she can prepare and you know stick them in the fridge, and you got some great home-cooked dinners for that. You may have noticed the beautiful artwork behind us. First of all, there is Ballet San Antonio, and there are some beautiful flowers. We have, we're gonna be talking with the flowers by V and make some of those. Uh, the little uh, headbands for Fiesta. We're going to preview Alice in Wonderland for ballet and a new event venue downtown. That's more coming up on SA Live. All right, welcome back. We're closing in on 80 degrees. We should jump up into the mid 80s today. Partly cloudy skies, and then we'll start to watch for some storms developing late this afternoon in the hill country, making their way towards San Antonio by dinner time into early this evening. They'll move away pretty quick, but then we've got to deal with some gusty winds behind that gust 40 to 45 overnight tonight and into early tomorrow morning. Those winds will eventually relax some by Friday afternoon, guys. Thank you, Justin, and thank you for watching the news at noon with us. That's right, and thank you for joining us again. SA Live starts right now. And today on SA Live, grab your fishing lines because it's time to hit the waves. We get hooked on a new way to go fishing. It'll make your next trip quick and easy. Plus, local catering business is ready to feed your next event or just at home with some great Lenten options as well. And we have a new performance venue in town, kind of a new old venue. We hear about its big opening event and do some painting with one of the vendors. 
Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from historic Market Square, this is SA Live. Don't mind if I do. Hey, the sun's past the yard arm somewhere, as my dad used to say. Look at this beautiful food here. Oh my goodness, it is going to be a happy Thursday. And happy Thursday, everyone. I'm Mike Oster. Hey, Piona is off today. And we are starting with the perfect little neighborhood place to grab some to eat or have a cold one. It is called the Ice House. And joining us today is Ken Oliver, who's the owner and operator of the Dakota East Side Ice House. Welcome, sir. How are you? I'm doing great. Thanks okay. for having me. What are we, what am I making right now? There's a lot of smoke. Well, you're making one of our, our uh, house favorites, which is our pork queso. Okay. What you're doing right now is you're browning up some uh, uh, pork sausage. This is our own uh, blend of pork sausage that we make, but you, if you were making this at home, you could use your own uh, favorite pork sausage of whatever kind what, you like. What's your secret? Because you've been making this for how many years? Uh, about 25 years. Oh yeah? And then how much of this? <laughs> uh, you can put the majority of that. All right, there we go. There you go. Okay, and this is one of the things. And this is just place. a salsa. This is our house salsa. It could be any any salsa, but um, ours is a, is a, a very simple tomatoes, uh, jalapenos, onions. And then what kind of cheese? This is cream cheese. So unlike oh, wow. a lot of the quesos, uh, it's a cream cheese base. So that's different uh, here in San Antonio for sure. I love, I mean, a lot of people just stick to bagels for cream cheese, but man, it goes with anything. It so, goes with anything. So right. once again, the, the classic ice house, which is pretty much unique to, to Texas, right? Well, to Texas and to South Texas in particular, just because of, you know, at the, at the turn of the century, San Antonio had three ice making uh, plants. There was only five in the entire country. So three of them were here. So we were a center really? for ice, which is pretty hard to believe as hot as it is in the summers. But um, they would ship ice from all, all over from here in San Antonio. And so in the city, all the neighborhoods had their own ice house, their own spot to go pick up their big blocks of ice. Mm -hmm. um, actually, our kitchen right now is in one of those original ice houses from the, from the 20s. Um, but what happened once a, you know refrigeration came around is, is they had to kind of change gears and kind of went more to having you know, foodstuffs and eggs and milk and beer and then eventually then grocery stores took grocery that stores to took that even more over and then just be just so what was more left? of a beer be, beer and snacks and, you know and the thing is though like you said it is the neighborhood little spot it's not like you have to go to a right. restaurant go to a bar it's just the place it's the place right okay. you go sit, sit in the shade and and uh relax a little bit get to know your neighbors so why is ice house week so important um why? i think it's just really important just to help uh, preserve that culture. You know, it's something that until just recently was kind of disappearing in San Antonio even. Um, a lot of the, of the older, you know, mom and pop places were starting to disappear. Mm -hmm. um, I think COVID kind of gave a, a, a bump to some of those because, you know, so many places, people were looking for outdoor places. And so um, just, to, just to spotlight those places during Ice House Week, even the ones who are, who are off the beaten path, you know, just to get people out there and, and uh, enjoying that something unique San Antonio culture. And besides a good cold one, which, okay, you know, maybe it's, yeah. it's one o'clock, that's okay. Uh, some great food here. So let's start down at, uh, which end do we wanna start at, Ted? Down here, what is that sandwich? That looks so this is our delicious. spicy chicken sandwich. Mm -hmm. It's a, a breaded and fried uh, chicken breast uh, with a, kind of our take of a non Nashville hot sauce um, with a great um, slaw there on the bottom. Mm -hmm. And then under, next to it is our uh, brisket tacos. We do all of our brisket uh, in-house, uh, smoked there in-house um, with the chipotle cream and, and pickled onions, jalapenos and cotija. Definitely one of our favorites at the Ice House. And, and right this is what we're making right now. This is the queso we're making. Taste mine, see how, how, it's see how yours is turning out. It's going to be really, really hot. <laughs> Good recipe. I love the cream cheese in there. It's and a lot then, different than people realize it's going to be. Yeah. Mm, really good. And then, last but not least, pizza. That's our brisket pizza, and we do all the same thing. We do all of our pizzas in house. We do uh, we have a pizza oven. We do the, the dough. Um, our uh, our cook there, Gennaro, does uh, some really great dough. I think we have some of the best in, in town. Really great. Now, um, you also being in the neighborhood and being a neighbor, mm -hmm. help out your neighbors a lot too, right? We try to do all all that we can. You know, we've organized street cleanups. We have a food pantry. Um, I think I mentioned to you earlier, you know, we try and invite uh, nonprofits or any, any community organization who's looking for a spot, we try to always have that open for them. Okay, that's absolutely wonderful. And you have some of the deals going on right now as well, too. We do. Ice House We week. do. So all the different uh, participants of Ice House Week have different specials. Um, ours in particular is uh, noon to six. Every day is a dollar off draft beers. 
and from three to six is five dollars off buckets. Oh, so that's a good one. Get there between three and six. So yeah, we, so we, get, we can leave after the show. Yeah, get, exactly. Get yeah. And then grab a bucket. Where are you located again? Uh, 433 South Hackberry. We're about five blocks from the Alamo Dome. Okay, wonderful. And there's more than about what 30 ice houses participating in this. There's 32, okay. I think, this year, but there's way more than that that are in the city. Okay, mm -hmm. wonderful. Well, if you'd like more information on Dakota East Ice House, of course, head over to salive.com. Click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. We have provided a link or just scan that QR code right down there at the bottom of your screen. All right, so. Today is Texas Independence Day, and so we want to know, we had that little bit of trivia, and of course, uh, and Mr. Texas Trivia over here got all the uh, questions <laughs> right. Did you get all six right? Uh, mm. I, I got, he got, he got I them got all right, right. So, okay, <laughs> then I'll ask you. So, our question today is, what is your favorite thing about Texas? My favorite thing about Texas? Ice house? <laughs> <laughs> ice houses. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. Ice houses. Yes. Ice houses. <laughs> no, it's the people. The people in Texas are the best. It, I mean, that's one thing we also when we moved here to San Antonio, big small town, friendly, right. easy place right. to move to. What so, high school did you go to? That's what everyone wants to know. <laughs> <laughs> North Farmington, up in Michigan. Yeah. So, anyway, what is your favorite thing about Texas? Let us know, and we hope to have your answer a little bit later on in the show. Well, from food and beer to the catch of the day, our Jen Tobias Strusky is getting reeled in looking for that perfect catch and she checks out a new way to go fishing that can make your next trip quick and easy. It's like an Airbnb, but for fishing. Get the full fishing experience without all the hassle. The guides from Captain Experiences can help you out. You just have to show up. They provide everything, including the boat. Let's go fishing. But how do you track down the perfect place to go? We have help for you today. I have Jonathan Newer, the CEO and co-founder of Captain Experiences, joining me now. I love where we're at right here, by the way. Um, so how does Captain Experiences work? Yeah, so Captain Experiences is an online platform for booking outdoor sports guides. Um, so focused on hunting and fishing right now, mm -hmm. um, but have over 1,100 fishing guides on the platform across the U.S. and beyond. What? Okay, so we're at Calaveras Lake right now. So if somebody wants to go fishing, how does it, the process work? Yeah, so we, we describe the experience as search it, book it, live it. Okay. So you can search on the site by location, group size, target species price, uh, read verified reviews, and book real-time availability with quality vetted guides. Uh, then leading up to your trip, we just email and text you a QR code. So you just show up at the docks, your guide takes a picture of that QR code, payment transfers automatically, and you're all set to have fun with family oh and friends. Oh my goodness, that is very easy. Now, you're obviously passionate about no, no fishing doubt, yep. and the outdoors. Uh, how did you come up with this idea? Uh, so I was working in my hometown of Houston in oil and gas when the company I was working for sold. Uh, and I said, hey guys, we always talk about it. Let's finally book that fishing trip. Uh, and they said, great job, Jonathan. You just nominated yourself to book a solid trip. Uh, so from there I said, you're on. Um, was reminded of you know how cumbersome it can be to find the right guide. And just said, hey, if you can book an Airbnb or call an Uber, there has to be a better way. Um, realized there wasn't much out there and here we are. Okay, so how many different locations and how many guides do you have? Yeah, so we currently have over 1,100 fishing guides on the platform uh, across, uh, you know, hundreds of markets. So everywhere from, you know, here uh, on the Texas coast, you know, Galveston, South Padre, Port Aransas, Corpus, uh, places in Florida, Destin, Key West, Miami, uh, and then, you know, even places in the Rockies like Montana, Colorado, Alaska, um, Costa Rica, Mexico, you name wow. it. So all over, really? Yep, yep, That's no amazing. doubt. That's amazing. What's your favorite part about this experience for people that you've seen and observed? Uh, I mean, my, there's so many, but you know, it, it, coming out here and, and having this sort of experience really is, um, you know, everything combined into one, right? So you're having fun with uh, family and friends. Uh, you're getting out there in nature, being active, putting the phones in the dry box, and really having quality time uh, connecting with nature. And it's all thanks to, you know, guides like Brian uh, who, who can make it all happen for us. Yes, shout out to Brian who's back there. <laughs> Let's give him, yep, some love. Thanks, Brian. All right, and this is very very therapeutic for a lot of people, no right? So it's nice that they can have help with, from the guides, right? Yeah, in case exactly. They're not as experienced like me. <laughs> yeah, and, and so what we say, at Captain, is that our, our mission is to unlock the outdoors. And, and that's important. They provide everything you need. I love that. But I hope everyone can get out here like us and have a great day on the water. All right, nothing better. Nice catch out there. 
Fantastic. All right, if you would like more information on Captain Experiences, of course, head over to SALive.com, click on the As Seen on SA Live tab, provide a link or just scan that QR code right there on your screen. All right, when SA Live continues, we take a trip down the rabbit's hole and into the ballet. We get a special preview performance of Ballet San Antonio's new show, Alice in Wonderland, this weekend. And need a recipe or don't know what to eat for Lent? We have a local owned catering business ready to feed you delicious meals. Oh, I didn't know we were gonna have such a beautiful picture. Now I'm just mesmerized by that, even though it's right in front of me right now. Whether you're eating at home or a big event, getting meal options for Lent or really for any night of the week shouldn't be that difficult. And here to solve all of your hunger problems is Mo Chandler, owner of Mo's Kitchen. Hello. Good to see you. Okay, Thank you. what are we making here? Because the pans are getting hot. Um, so we're gonna have some shrimp here, and you, we're just gonna saute that in there. We're gonna make some salmon bites, and you wanna just dump it in the skillet. Okay. Um, really quick. What did you want? Uh, I just put a little seasoning um, on there with mm -hmm. some garlic powder, um, salt, pepper, and um, a little lemon. Oh, okay. Yes. All right, mm -hmm. so how did you get started doing all this great food? Because just looking at all these dishes here and your recipes, it seems like you are classically trained and been a chef for years. Actually, no. I've been around my family cooking um, for many, many years. And um, one time, a couple of years ago, my husband and I were gonna go out for Father's Day. And we decided to stay in, actually. Mm -hmm. And um, I made him a dish, a lobster and shrimp dish. And um, I'm not a huge fan of lobster. I don't eat it too often, but I will definitely cook it for anyone, and obviously him. Um, and so we, I sent it to my friends, a couple of my girlfriends, and they shared it. Uh, one of one of them in particular shared it on social media mm -hmm. and within about 15 minutes I had about 700 likes and then about an hour later I had over 5,000 likes. Oh my goodness. Yes. And, and the rest was because what were you yes. doing at the time? I was actually working in the corporate field doing surgical coding and billing and um, once that happened um, I started getting uh, messages to do orders and mm -hmm. things like that and um, here we are now, three almost three years later, and we've got all this delicious food here. And, and where do you come up with your recipes? Just um, actually, you... sometimes I take my um, experience or or request from my kids, mm -hmm. my husband, or I just see something online, and I'm like, oh, maybe I should make that with the with the little twist of Mo's kitchen. So yes. Do you, what is a little twist of Mo's kitchen? Uh, you can do like a little gourmet. Um, I may add a different sauce or a different seasoning to that. Yes, mm -hmm. you can take so, those out and okay. place them right here on top of the grits. Okay. And what is the secret to your uh, your grits? Because I see a little bit of a sauce in so there. There's so there's some sauce uh -huh. that I place on there, and it has lemon, and dill, uh, butter, and wine. Ooh. And then okay. um, for the salmon bites. I put um, pretty much the same seasoning on there as well, and then I just do a little drizzle of sauce here, and usually some parsley for, you know, aesthetic reasons. Mm -hmm. And then that's, it's done. And then same thing for the um, salmon bites as well. And all of these beautiful fresh vegetables and everything. Yes. And the greatest thing is, you can get this for your meal at home, right? So Anytime. you do Absolutely. the whole meal prep thing. Explain that. Yeah, so you can place a order for meal preps uh, mm -hmm. Monday or Sunday. And the there's a few options that you have and you can order them five or three and or even some I have some clients that order twenty at a time. And they last for seven days. You can freeze yeah. them as well and you get to choose whatever protein you like, and then there's several vegetables and um, starches that you can choose from as well. So do you have a list of things? I do, I have a menu that you can, that I send out to mm -hmm. you, and then we also, I also get requests for just f family dinners, like uh, baked chicken, mashed potatoes, green beans, uh, meatloaf, 
Ooh. Lasagna, yes. Really? Absolutely. Oh my goodness gracious. So this could take care of like three, four nights Absolutely. of the week for for a couple or the whole family? The whole family, a couple. I do private dinner night, all of those things. Yes, oh sir. my goodness gracious. And also people can find you at some pop-ups too, right? Yes. The one coming up this weekend. Correct. Um, I have a couple of specials this weekend. Um, tomorrow we have Lent, which will be the fish. You can get a mm -hmm. cilantro lime salad, which is uh, pictured here. And uh, also on Saturday, we'll have turkey legs. And Sunday, we'll have my, my famous oxtails that sell out every time mm. I put them on the menu. Okay, so and once again, if I want to place an order, like say for uh, next week, get it to yes. you by Sunday or Monday? Yes. Okay. Yes, oh. sir. Oh, that's really good stuff. Mm. Thank you. you. If you'd like more information on Moe's Kitchen, head over to SALive.com, click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. We provide a link or just scan the QR code right there on your screen. Okay, still to come on SA Live, how to celebrate being a woman at a local workshop for International Women's Day. We share the fun details in just a bit. And cha-ching, how to win big at Kickapoo Lucky Eagle Casino and Hotel this spring. They have something special for Easter and Mother's Day as well. That's coming up on SA Live. Just a short drive away, some really great things are coming to Kickapoo Lucky Eagle Casino and Hotel this year. And here to tell us all about it is Janita Colesio, their social media marketing specialist. All right, so many exciting things happening in the coming months at the hotel and casino, right? Yes, yes, definitely. So it is March, so we do have some great things going on. Uh, we are giving out 80K this month, so $80,000 going out and give some prizes just for our lucky eagle like customers. visitors oh right? yes yes, yes. Okay. come see us i yes. mean if you go there is a chance to win eighty thousand dollars in prizes you oh, gotta be my there goodness, okay and as we go into the into april you mm -hmm. guys have something going on for easter oh yes so um i know we've talked about Asul before mm -hmm. and, you know and they have an easter brunch just for our customers just for our special guests it's something new something exciting that we are launching so come and make sure to visit us Easter Sunday for some great brunch. Great brunch. So yes. delicious food, delicious drinks. <laughs> you know, yeah, right? Okay, yes, I'm sure bottomless something, right? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And then going into May for Mother's Day, oh, there's yes. a celebration, right? Yes, we have our Mother's Day bingo coming up. We're going to give out $25,000 that day just in bingo, just for, you know, that celebration. You want to your mom out, right? Twenty-five thousand know? dollars. Come prizes see up for us for bingo. Mom, start yes, signing up starting. now. Yes. Okay. <laughs> and if you want to drive off into the sunset, you can, right? With yes. a car giveaway. Oh yes, in May. Oh my goodness, in May we have some great prizes as well for our customers. So we're going to do um, a brunch as well as Azul, and then we are giving out a car. Okay. Yeah, oh, yeah, we're goodness. giving out, you know, you're going to drive off into the sunset <laughs> in a brand new car, all courtesy of Kickapoo Lucky Eagle Casino and Hotel. All right, and of course, fabulous <laughs> amenities there at the hotel, right? Yes, yes, and we are going through those renovations, so make sure to visit us. If you haven't seen us, if you haven't come to stay at our amazing hotel, well, don't wait too long because we are renovating it and it is coming out a great so nice. facelift. Yes, yes, yes. Even bigger and better than it already exactly. is. Right. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Danita. To book your visit to Kickapoo Lucky Eagle Casino and Hotel in Eagle Pass, just call 888-255-8259 or visit the website luckyeagletexas.com. You can also find them on social media at Lucky Eagle Texas. And don't forget to sign up for that Players Club too. Janita, once again, thank you. Oh, thank you. Still ahead, there's a new events venue that's opening up downtown, but you are very familiar with it. We're gonna get all the details and preview, some of the music acts, the food vendors, and the beautiful artwork like this from Caroline Gonzalez that's going to be there. Plus, women, you deserve to feel like a queen. There's a local workshop happening for International Women's Day, so stick around. Welcome back to 
USA Live. Well, International Women's Day is next week, Wednesday to be exact, and there's one event in town that's going to help all the ladies feel like a queen. And <laughs> if you recognize all these beautiful flowers back here, and we've got some around our studio, they are done by V. Cruz Robledo. We haven't seen you in a long time. Uh, yes, this is yes. last time you were here. Yes, I did. Get married. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> okay, so this is a flower crown, making because you've got the big, beautiful, big flowers on here. Yes. And these are absolutely gorgeous. Thank you. So yes, we're going to be making uh, paper flower crowns for the upcoming Fiesta festivities okay. in this workshop that I'll be hosting next week on International Women's Day. All right, so all of these things will be cut out like this, and it's one of those kind of soothing little things to do once you get the hang of it. Yes, yes. You, you may get a little cramp in your finger every now and again. <laughs> but um, yeah, definitely for this workshop, we're going to have all of the materials cut out. Mm -hmm. Everything's going to be prepped. It's just a matter of assembling the petals. I'll walk through the process of assembling the crown, adding some additional details like the okay. strings and streamers on the back. And I'm going to layer these, right? Yep, so you're going to layer them. Back here yep. And alternate the petals so they don't line up, obviously. Yes. Okay. You just don't want them to line up okay, I get together. Just, there we go, just like that. And so who all can attend this? Anyone that wants to? Well, registration is open to anyone uh, 18 and up, just because mm -hmm. we are going to be utilizing hot glue guns okay. um, and things like that. But um, this workshop is open for registration. Again, all materials are included. You're also going to get dinner and beverage oh, wow. with the workshop. It's going to be um, starting at 630. It'll run till about 9, 930. So um, just a fun little evening. Yeah. What the and heck? Meet some new friends out there too, right? Of course, of course. So with the workshop, again, all materials are included, but you'll also get a take-home kit. Mm -hmm. So that way you can make an additional flower crown at home and, after the workshop as and well. And I assume this is the take-home kit yep. right here with everything in it. Mm -hmm. And it's even got string in there, the little... Uh, little dowel rod that you can use to bend the flowers on and all sorts of colors and as I continue doing this and the nice thing about flower crowns mm -hmm. that are made out of this it they're a little tougher than the ones made out of that most people have kind of out of tissue paper right right with 65 pound cardstock in these petals you get a, a little bit of a longer lasting flower crown mm -hmm. um, I've had some flower crowns that last for years you know when I'm out at the fiesta events I run into some of my previous year customers still wearing their flower crowns, so they do last a while. You just want to avoid water. Well, like with any flower course, crown, like yeah. That too, so. Being that it is uh, cardstock paper. Okay, so now I put this on the you. back. Yeah, right? and then just glue we're on. just going to glue the little felt on the back as a little base, just okay. so that way the felt can attach to the felt on the crown. Ah, okay. And then glue and glue, and yep. we're all set to go. Yep. All right. And once again, where is it going to be? And what's on the menu, by the way? I forgot to ask you. Um, have you I haven't decided just yet, okay. but um, it, it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be out at Serenity Manor in Old Town Holotus. Mm -hmm. And um, we are going to um, have some giveaways as well for oh, like wow. some Fiesta event tickets like Oyster Bake and things like that. So okay. it's going to be a good time. All right. Well, don't forget that the International Women's Day Fiesta Flower Crown Workshop is happening Wednesday, March 8th. Starts at 6.30 p.m. at the Serenity Manor in Old Town, Holotus. And for more information, of course, go to our website, salive.com. Click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Always beautiful. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. All right, join Alice at Ballet San Antonio as she tries to navigate her way through Wonderland. We get an in-studio performance just ahead. Plus, a local artist is going to give us some uh, lessons on doing some abstract artwork. And she's going to be featured at this new old venue this weekend. Music, food, great place to go, but you're very familiar with it. That's coming up. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, the ESPY, San Antonio's latest performance and music venue, is opening this weekend. Joining us with details on the event space and what you can expect is Caroline Gonzalez, artist, and she is the co-owner and visual artist of Caroline Gonzalez Art, and Emily Smith, who is the general manager of the ESPY. Welcome, ladies. First of all, the ESPY, new name, but 
everybody knows this place, right? Right, right. So the SB is Sunset Station, as San Antonio knows it, the beloved Sunset Station. And we're saying this weekend is the re-arrival of the SB, an outdoor live music venue, special events venue. We're having a great live music arts festival this weekend to kick off the re-arrival of this great venue. We've made some enhancements to the venue. Uh, there'll be a great lineup of artists. The head and the heart will be there. Danielle Ponder, um, group of Phantasma will bring a great show as always. And then we'll have live art, an arts market, food. Kent with Dakota will be there. Jerk Shack Chicken will be there. So it's going to be a great festival, a great day event. Um, we're looking forward to bringing the community out. And this is owned by uh, the Majestic and the Charlene McCombs Theater, so it kind of completes because you got the big Broadway productions right. at Majestic, smaller, more intimate theater there, and then this, right. uh, the great venue, which you can do anything in, like right. art like this. So what's yes. it going to be like? You're going to be actually painting yes. while people are looking at art too, right? Yes, so I'll be live painting. Um, uh, with, my husband's going to be there as well, doing some live, live painting, and two other artists that are local to San Antonio. Um, we're also going to have a really cool, um, small, intimate gallery that's mm -hmm. set up with uh, some moving walls that were also built by a local artist and framer in San Antonio. Um, so we're very big about local, giving back to the community and the art community. So it's a really cool um, experience that we're getting to do something like this with us. Okay, why did Majestic now create that space over there sure. or, or take over that space? Right, so say. there was the opportunity came available and we are now operating the SB in addition to the Majestic and Empire Theaters. And it, the SB as it is, is very versatile with the historic depot spaces and the outdoor amphitheater space. It really opens up the opportunity, like you said, to bring different types of live entertainment and events to San Antonio because of the open capacity GA format, being outdoors um, in comparison to the theaters which are seated. So it's, it's, a, it's a wonderful venue for San Antonio as it has been and we just look forward to continuing that. And the name SB right. is just the letters that it was, right? Well, so it does have me it is meaningful. Mm -hmm. So the so this the venue was the original uh, first train station in San Antonio. Um, 1902, first rail station. It was a Southern Pacific rail line. There's where SP, SP comes from. Okay. And SP as it's written is an affectionate nickname for Southern Pacific. E S P E E. I did not know. So it, it has meaning. Yes, so it has meaning. Okay. Now, as far as ven will there be more venues such as the art venues or not not just music, correct? Right. Right. So the uh, on the 4th, you'll see live art. We'll have an arts market with local vendors. We'll have a crystal vendor there, Rock Your Magic, Shock Therapy will be there. There will be great Eats there, Kent, like I said, Kent from Dakota will be there, Jerk Shack Chicken, the board couple will be there bringing their char, uh, charcuterie, charcuterie oh, on a stick. Couple. Yes, they're <laughs> being very, ours, I so. know, they're, they'll be there. And then also we, we have a lounge pass, so if you purchase a first class pass access, um, the Carver will be bringing the vibes with their Soul Set series oh, in, cool. in the lounge. So there is a lot of activity happening throughout the day and there'll be some surprises. So we really encourage everybody to come out and enjoy a day of live music, experience the venue. As far as the art community, yes. what's it like having a venue like this, quickly? Oh yeah, this is really wonderful. Um, I actually have a studio gallery space downtown um, that I love to utilize, but being able to go into different types of venues um, in different spaces and utilize them and open up the art community is something that um, I, I really, really uh, advocate for, and so getting to be a part of it too is is just wonderful. Well, wonderful. Well, if you'd like more information on the SB and, of course, Caroline Gonzalez Art, head over to SALive.com, click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. We provide a link, scan the uh, QR code right there at the bottom of your screen. All right, coming up next, we get a special preview performance of Ballet San Antonio's latest show, Alice in Wonderland. Stick around.
Welcome back to SA Live. Well, we're late. We're late. Well, actually, we're not too late for a very important date with Ballet San Antonio and Alice in Wonderland. And joining us right now is the artistic director, Sylvia Anna Silv. So good to see you. Lovely to see you, the too. Latest show of the season, Alice in Wonderland. Tell us all about it. So, Alice is back on the Tobin Center stage. Uh, a little reworked. We have a school, so we have the kids in the school uh, appearing as butterflies and mushrooms. And uh, the company is looking fantastic. Fantastic! So I'm very excited to see Alice again with projection. It's uh, very theatrical. So come and join us this weekend. The classic story with those nice little Ballet San Antonio touches. Yes, to it, right? yes, always a little touch of Ballet San Antonio. So we have the company is the classic story of uh, Alice in Wonderland, uh, drinking the potion, going through the rabbit hole, and making choices for her life. So um, everybody can actually identify with that. Okay, last show of the season, but that's Correct. not it for Ballet San Antonio. No. School still going and lots. Of things uh, yes a lot of things are going on the company actually will be performing with the opera of san antonio and Romeo and juliet coming up at the end of the month uh, then we have the showcase of the school uh, may 17 actually may 20th may 17 is the luncheon so lots of stuff to keep track with okay as far as the performance this weekend for four shows and yes, military discounts shows. things and everything yes we have student discounts you can check on the website uh, there's a few tickets still available so go for it and like i said the company looks amazing and the kids in the school are going to be really wonderful to uh, witness. Uh, and join us. Of course, Sophie Berlini is going to be doing this number. What is she? Uh, so Sophie see? actually has a double duty. She is uh, the queen and she is also Alice. So she does double duty. You'll see Brenna, you'll see Michael. You see basically all those characters that you've seen in Cinderella coming back also has funny characters in Alice. And the dance she's going to do right now for us? So yes, this is the solo of Alice actually uh, looking at the potion thinking maybe she shouldn't, but then eventually will. And uh, that's the first solo in Act One. Okay, Ballet San Antonio's Alice in Wonderland. Sophie, take it away. Once again, the dates for Alice in Wonderland are Friday the 3rd, 7.30 p.m., Saturday 2 p.m. and 7.30 p.m., and Sunday the 5th at 2 p.m. For more information, Valley San Antonio, head over to SALive.com, click on the As Seen on SA Live tab, and we have provided a link.
Do yourself a favor and check out the ballet this weekend. Tomorrow on SA Live, she's a local baker who's been featured in multiple magazines. She'll show us how to make cute designs to celebrate the return of a popular TV show. Plus, you've never seen these movies like these, where you can experience the magical world of Disney like never before, right here in the Alamo City for a limited time. That's tomorrow, 1 p.m., right here on SA Live. Antonio with us on YouTube. Yeah, all of your favorite DIY videos, food, drinks, tips, and tricks. If you've seen it here, it's on the SA Live YouTube channel. Just search KSAT SA Live on YouTube and like, subscribe, and ring the bell. 1836, the Republic of Texas was born. And what do you like most about Texas? God bless Texas. Yeah, what's your favorite thing? Friendly people, beautiful rivers, desert, mountain, just about everything. Thank you, Linda. We moved here six months ago from Ohio. What I like about Texas being near family, the weather, so many other things. Welcome, Sandra. Dr. Pepper, ooh, yes. SA, oh, hey, my favorite thing about Texas that it is in California. <laughs> I love that one. My baby, my husband were born in Texas. SA Live, KSAT, thank you, Diana. And no state income tax, yep. And Willie Nelson. And my two boys are born here as well. We hope you enjoyed the show today. We are going to be back here tomorrow, so make sure you tune in 1 o'clock right here at beautiful Market Square.